How's it going, guys? Today we're going to be reviewing the Mr. Beast box by Zaxby's. So Zaxby's and Mr. Beast had a collaboration with Feastables. Um, so let's get to it. And this box is like seething, like, you know, like no other. Like, so this is what we get. We get two pieces of bread. Um, I'm going to put this right here. So we get two pieces of bread. And then we get some chicken nuggets and some tenders, I assume. What are these? This feels like chicken. I don't know. I got to look up what we get. One second. Uh, let me look up. I apologize. Mr. Beast. Okay. So with the Mr. Beast box, we get four hand-breaded chicken fingers. All right, uh, with Zaxby sauce, crinkle fries, a half order of fried white, fried white cheddar bites with ranch, two slices of Texas toast, small drink, feasible milk, chocolate bar. So these are, so here are four tenders, our fries, and our uh, white cheddar balls, and our two pieces of toast. Um, I got extra seasoning, so this is the extra seasoning. I'll dump that in there. I got uh, Chipotle Ranch, and I got the Zaxby's hot sauce, and I got a sweet tea. Um, so with no ice, because when they put ice in it, you know, you know my volume, right? So the more stuff is in there, the less content you get to drink. I assuming that's what volume is. Again, I apologize if that's the wrong definition, but, you know, basically, if you put ice in it, you're going to get less of the drink. If you don't put ice in it, you're going to get more of the drink, you know? Common sense. Um, I used Uber Eats. It was like an extra $3, so I paid like the meals like itself, I think it's 12 bucks, so I paid $15. Um, I was not... I didn't tip the lady, I'll be honest with you, because it was going to come out like 20 bucks. They wanted me to leave her like a big tip. I did not tip her. I, I'm going to keep it real. I don't use Uber Eats a lot. Um, I'm sorry if that offends people, but me personally, I ain't going to really, um, yeah, that's not me. I'm not really going to tip or anything. Um, if you're like, all you're doing is delivering my food, you know, but that, that's a different story. So anyway, here we go. We have the food right here. We have our crinkle fries, white cheddar, and our tenders. I'm going to try. I'm going to lower this down a bit. I apologize. I want to put a napkin underneath this thing. I don't want to get my thing dirty. Let me get the white cheddar. Try it out. Hold up. It's literally fried cheese. You know, I'm eating like... You know those cold cheese bars you get when you were like a kid for lunch or as a snack? That's what I'm eating. I'm eating that except it's like not even warm. It's like warm. It's not even hot. It's not even going out, like going apart or anything. It's just. I don't even know what to say. It just doesn't taste good. It tastes rubbery. Yeah, it's not good. The, the cheddar cheese balls are not good. Fried cheddar, whatever they're called. Yeah, they're, they're pretty mid. Um, the fries are always good. Now, when I asked for extra seasoning, I thought they were going to put the seasoning on the fries and I don't have to do it myself. Pretty upset by that because I wouldn't mind if the seasoning got into my food or whatever. Oh, wait, wait.
It has a spicy Zaxby sauce. I gotta, I gotta use the tenders on it. Do you know Zaxby's charge you like I think 25 to 35 cents for an extra sauce? Mmm. That's pretty good. Here's the toast. The tenders are good. I'm going to lie. Mm. This is a good meal. But I haven't never had a Feastables, so I got to try that out too. The bread's always on point at Zaxby's. Let me try some tea. That's good. Um, I mean, there's nothing to complain here. It's a good meal. The only thing I don't like is this. It could have included something else, you know, like some, I don't know, more chicken. Yeah, it's very mid. Or like, I don't know. Mm, like, uh, what's something Zach's music can conclude? Some boneless wings. Um, a mini salad. Something like that. Something better than these crappy uh, uh, mozzarella, whatever, white cheddar bites. But overall, the meal's good, man. You can make like a chicken sandwich if you wanted to with the bread and the, the tenders. But I didn't want to do that because I'm not really a fan of that. Because um, when Zaxby's sells you, when you order like a chicken sandwich at Zaxby's, it's literally just three pieces of tenders between two pieces of bread. You know, this bread. It's like, it's like that, except imagine three pieces of tender. Um, I mean, it's decent, but you know how much that thing costs you? It didn't cost you like $6. That's Zaxby's. And I don't even rank Zaxby's as a good chicken, fried chicken establishment. You know, Chick-fil-A, which is a competitor to Zaxby's, has cheaper prices than Zaxby's on certain things. Like the chicken sandwich is a good example. I think the tenders too. But overall, I'm going to be real. The price doesn't add up to me. I don't think. Or maybe it does. Mm. I don't know, I'm still iffy on the price. $12 for all this. I mean, it's about right, I guess. What I say, is this something you'd line up, you'd get? If you're eating Zaxby's for the first time? Not really. Uh, the best bang for your buck at Zaxby's is probably their salads. That's probably the most reasonable price and the most, get more food out of it. 
I don't know. That's just me. I always get a salad at Zaxby's. I never get like their fried chicken meal, fried chicken tenders, sandwiches, or whatever. Because it's not just, I don't know. Also, sometimes the quality of the Zaxby's chicken isn't always on par. God, this tastes terrible. But I have to eat it. Yeah, man. I don't know. Even with sauce, it's not that good. I just hate that rubbery cheese texture. Do I have any more? Bro, I got two more. Holy crap. Mm. Man. Now, if they did fried pickle, I think that'd be a banger. But these cheese bites ain't hitting it. Man, that's a lot of fries. And all I got was like, I think, I think you get like a small or medium. I don't even know. That's a lot of fries. Maybe my box didn't skimp out on the fries. But... Oh, look, you even get Zaxby's Mr. Beast uh, wrapping paper. I say room for dessert because I got to eat the Mr. Beast bar. Peaceable. Those fries are very salty, though. Mm. Yeah. Now, this collab was like out of left field. Um, I don't know why Zaxby's and Mr. Beast would collab. I don't see any correlation between Zaxby's and Mr. Beast. Maybe to promote Feastables, because maybe. But from what I heard, Feastables is basically, um, excuse me, milk chocolate, like a regular milk chocolate bar. There's nothing special about it. Also, I heard it's it doesn't it's not selling well. You know, it's not a hot selling product because in my Walgreens, they got Feastables and. It's sitting there. No one's buying it. Like, I've only seen, like, one or two bar go missing. Maybe someone bought it, but, like, it's still stocked fully. You know, it had the stock hasn't moved. But, um, but, yeah. So I'm almost done, but ah, uh, I don't know. It's a good meal. All the extra stuff they added to it. I don't know if that adds up to twelve dollars. Maybe it does, but the problem with Zaxby's is either their food is very salty. Um, chicken's like not that attractive like look at this I don't think I'd eat this multiple times a day I think if it was Chick-fil-A I'd devour that thing I don't know 
Maybe the seasoning is very salty for Zaxby's. A lot of people like it. Some people don't. But it's a competitor to Chick-fil-A, but I'm not feeling it. No. I'm not feeling it today. I feel like Chick-fil-A will always be better than Zaxby's. But... I mean, it is what it is. If you want Zaxby's, get this meal. But if you want to try Zaxby's out, get a house salad. It's the best thing ever with blue cheese. And you'll you'll thank me later. You'll love it. Um, I get grilled chicken. I mean, grilled or fried is fine. I wasn't a fan of grilled chicken. But when with that Zaxby's house salad, it's a banger. We finished the full box. You know, some reviewers can't even do that. They just eat like half acid. But I, I eat the whole thing. Feast of a chocolate bar. Dang, man. I think broke apart. Mm. I'm going to keep it a buck with you. This just tastes like a Hershey chocolate bar. Yeah, there's nothing special about this. Mm. This is literally milk, chocolate, Hershey's chocolate bar. But anyway... That's my Zaxby's uh, X Mr. Beast Feastables lunchbox thing. Yeah, Zaxby's Mr. Bo Mr. Beast box. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace.